In this week's video, we start our adventures in Oregon. We start near Bend and visit Smith Rock, so follow along and see what Oregon has in store for us. So, on a piece of advice, take your camera off your tripod when you're not using it. I learned the hard way just now. So there's a bunch of people down there right now. Um, I'm just gonna wait for them to finish. They're being extremely romantic. It's making me nauseous. It's like a goose rave. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what that is. Well, hello everybody. By now you can see we're in um, Oregon and we've made it to Smith Rock State Park. Uh, trying to get down here before the light dies, but I think I may have missed my window. It's uh, predicted as 14% chance of a nice sunset, which is not good, but it is giving us a 45% chance for a nice sunrise. So I might have to come back in the morning. But let's go down and see what we can see. Might get a few test shots in just while the light isn't too bad. So there's a bunch of people down there right now. Um, I'm just gonna wait for them to finish. They're being extremely romantic. It's making me nauseous. But I'll be able to frame up something here. Just wait for them to be done. They must be doing an engagement shoot or something. We'll work around them. All right, so the sun has momentarily gone behind the cloud, so just picked up the camera. I'm trying to stay out of there. There's people doing a photo shoot down here for our wedding, so I'm just trying to stay out of their way as much as I can. I took my sunglasses off and those got stolen already. So that's not good. Not by anyone here, by the girlfriend. So while the sun's behind the clouds, I'm gonna get some shots here and try not to get in their way. All right, so you can see I'm set up here. I just set up for the basic shot. I'm just more doing a test of where uh, where it might look nice. Um, this is a pretty popular area by the looks of it. Like I said, there was a wedding shoot being done. And yeah, the lighting's not the best right now, but I will set up and do one test shot. And um, if it turns out half decent, even as a test shot, I'll, uh, I'll throw it up on the screen now. Here it is. Well, good thing I wasn't filming because I had my camera set up over there and I was helping the girlfriend change her lens and a huge gust of wind came up and blew my camera and tripod over and it landed on the rocks here. Luckily it landed on the lens hood and the side of the camera caught a small scratch on it, which it already had a small scratch on it. Now it has another one and the lens hood's got a small scuff in it, but no major damage. Had to remove the battery and reset it, but still functioning. I never thought it was that strong. The wind just came up all of a sudden out of nowhere and yeah. So on a piece of advice, take your camera off your tripod when you're not using it. I learned the hard way just now. All right, well, as you can see, there's a bit of an impending storm that's approaching us and it's gonna wash out the sunset, I think. And the sun is setting over there exactly where it's coming from. So on this occasion, the the app was right. Um, it is, I think, however, better a sunrise location because the sun will rise directly behind us, which will give it that uh, nice glow from the back. So I think we're gonna come back tomorrow morning, 
get up at 5 a.m. And uh, sunrise is at 7.15 now. Be here around 6, 6.15, something like that. Uh, it is supposed to be negative 2. But we'll um, break it out. See if we can get a sunrise shot. So we'll see you in the morning. Hopefully one of the uh, test shot turns out okay. If it did, you saw it. And we'll see you in the morning from Smith Rock. Good morning. Oh, got up at ridiculous o'clock again this morning to uh, come here to Smith Rock to try to get a sunrise. It was a 45% uh, chance of a good sunrise last night. When I got up this morning, it said 25% chance. Then when I got here, it said 35% chance. And there is some breaks in the east, so I'm hoping sunrise is in about 20 minutes um, that we'll get something. It started off this morning with the um, coffee maker in the room not working, so I haven't even had a coffee or anything yet. It's much nicer actually than it was last night. It's uh, calm. Minus two, but uh, calm. So it's not, uh, doesn't feel as cold as it did last night. So make my way down to that little um, overlook that I was at last night and uh, get set up and hope we get a shot. So I'm just gonna use the um, same setup I was using last night, the 16 to 35 um, at 16 millimeters. I'll probably shoot around F9, something like that. And let me see, I don't know if you can tell or not, but this is a new tripod, or new old tripod. I uh, rebought my Leo photo one that got stolen from me last year, so it's guaranteed to make the photos look better. <laughs> right, it's, uh, it's guaranteed. And there's quite a big break here in the east, so I'm hoping that we uh, get some good luck. All right, I got the camera set up here. Just sunrise is technically in about 15 minutes. We've got a bit of first light going on here, but it's still a 30 second exposure at F11. We'll wait till we get a, just a bit of light. There's a tiny bit coming, so let's uh, see how it looks in a few minutes. Oh, you heard the train. Um, I did a couple blue hour test shots. It's a loud train. They look pretty good. They're 15 second exposures. I'll, uh, I'll put one of them up on the screen now while we're, uh, while we're waiting for the sun to rise. Here it is. There's a little bit more cloud cover than there was earlier, but still some clear patches. Um, still technically 15 minutes from sunrise. So I'm still 23% optimistic that it's going to turn out to be a nice sunrise. But, I mean, worst case, I do have some blue hour shots with um, some nice clouds in the back. But I really do hope I get some nice golden light or something, but... Uh, Time will tell. Two geese just flew through. Canadian geese, obviously lost here in Oregon. So I moved a little bit further forward here. Um, Decided I'm going to do a two-shot pano uh, to start on just off to the... Ooh, we're starting to get a tiny bit of pink just over here. 
So I'm gonna try to capture a bit of that. So I'm gonna do a two shot panel starting just off to the right of this first, um, whatever you wanna call it. And uh, just sweep over two shots and that captures all the way over to this left part of Smith Rock. So um, yeah, we'll just wait a little bit longer because it looks like we might get a little bit of light. So I'm now 30% optimistic. <laughs> I decided to go for a three shot panel. The sun is coming up. It's technically up, but I think being uh, quite mountainous here, it might not actually come up for another five to 10 minutes. But I did do this one uh, sweeping three shot panel with the, uh, the little bit of pink that's in the sky now on the right. So if it turned out okay, I'll uh, put it up on the screen now. And sometimes too, I think you just gotta be appreciative that you can get up get out to go to a beautiful spot like this. Even if you don't get the world's greatest photo, I've, uh, I've always wanted to come here and see it, so. Now I've been here, I've seen it. If I don't go home with an award winner, it's okay. But I do really want a coffee. <laughs> oh boy. A little bit more color coming up over here. Not a lot though. I'd like that to be really bright and over here. But like I said, it's still four minutes to sunrise. So maybe, maybe we'll get something. So this is looking in the east. There's still some breaks happening there. There's still some breaks coming. So I'm hopeful that this will all light up at some point. It's um, past sunrise hour, which was seven, 15 and it's now 723 and nothing's caught sun yet but um just look at this beautiful spot huh what a place it's almost like a miniature grand canyon it really is quite something very lucky to see stuff like this Well, I'll keep waiting here. There is some color that's coming, but... Oh, I'm getting a bit of color here now. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna shut up and start shooting again. Well, I'm hoping the magic's gonna happen. Did you bring the good luck? Yeah. <laughs> I wish you brought coffee. I'm hoping it's starting to light up here. I haven't seen anything on any peaks yet, so we may still may still get some color. It's starting to light up a bit over here too, so I've been shooting this whole time, so hopefully it uh, just continues to get better. Man, there's a lot of geese today. It's like a goose rave. Honk, honk. Yeah, I don't know what that is. All right, well, we're starting to lose the color now in the sky, you can see. I'm gonna wait around to see if I get a little bit of actual direct sunlight on some of the on the peaks here. But uh, if one of the shots that we took during the um, sunrise turned out, then I'll um, I'll put it up on the screen. And uh, yeah, here's the shot I got. I don't remember if I said yesterday, but this trail that goes down here, you follow it all the way down and around. And then you cross over the bridge there and then it zigzags up the hill and you go up and around and up on top and you end up somewhere i think it's up over here and uh it's a really good shot for night night shots if you want like a milky way shot or something like that because it gives you these interesting rocks in the foreground not sure if we're going to get any direct sunlight or not there's a bit more cloud over in that area now but uh hey i think we've got a decent sunrise shot it's not a wasn't on fire but yeah i think it turned out okay like i said we're just going to hang out here for another half hour or something and uh see if we get a little bit of direct sun on the mountains all right well i'm not sure 
it's going to get any direct sunlight this morning. The um, clouds behind me now are pretty thick. It's not too many breaks and uh, I'm getting cold. All the color has gone from the sky so I think we're going to call it. Um, go home and have a shower and coffee and all that good business. But yeah, beautiful here, Smith Rock State Park. Definitely come check it out if you're in the area. Hopefully one of those shots turned out half decent. I hope it's to see when I get home. Anyway, we're back to the hotel, get showered, have breakfast and uh, yeah, start making our way to the coast. Well, I lied. There was a tiny little gap that opened up, so I ran back down here like a maniac, and we're just starting to get some beautiful light on the rock itself, so I came back here and scrambled like a maniac to get these shots, and uh, if, uh, if this shot uh, with the sun peeking out turns out good, I'll uh, put that one up for you now. Here's what I got. Always remember, if you like my videos, like, subscribe, leave a comment. It helps the algorithm and helps me uh, get new followers. And uh, yeah, tell your friends about the video and we'll, um, we'll see you on the Oregon coast. Take care, everybody. Bye for now.